Yukimura, I'll be back. Right. Rika, wait for me just a little while, okay? All right. I'm looking forward to the day I see you again. You... You've got to come back sometime. Thanks for everything. And hey, I can't wait to see you again. Okay, quick thoughts on this game. Um, yeah. Uh, the story is not... How do I put this? The story is destabilized. That's right. One segment we're talking about machine dramas that are on the loose. Uh, ne to the next, we're talking about altered forms of Omegamon. Like, what's the bridge between machine dramon and Omegamon? Maybe I didn't understand something in the story, but machine dramon in this case feels like a dropped subplot, which is so odd considering that this game carries the signs of a continuation to the original Digimon world. I mean, I ten I did not question the setting. I did not even question Mirei's presence. Why is she in this game? Other than being helpful as a navigational guide. Uh, for the story and maybe for some gameplay experiences. I mean, she was useful in Cyber Sleuth because in that game, the principles were different. I mean, you could play that game to understand her role. I mean, she helped you digivolve your Digimon. But here, I feel like they just needed a familiar character to kind of... to kind of create a universe. That's what they're doing. They're building a universe, a Digimon universe, in the video games. I, I don't know. I, seeing Rina Shinomiya and Mirei Mikagura, it made me think that... that they're trying to set something up for something bigger. From Digimon World Redigitized to Cyber Sleuth to, to this game now. Uh, and then there's the... the man who possessed... Shoma Suzuki, which we know was analog, man, from the first game. It's like, we realized it at the end of the game. At least we're supposed to realize it at the end of the game. But I feel like he hasn't even been developed. I mean, I'm all for, like, twists and shit. Like, twists that allow people to see who the bad guy is near the end. But I wish the bad guy himself had been far more developed than this. Uh, the pacing of the game is not bad, although it shouldn't take me 50 to 61 hours to, to finish this game. It should not take- it should not be a grind fest. I mean, for those who want to play with the story. I get this type of video game, though. I mean, it's- it stands out differently than most. This is not Final Fantasy VII. This is not Spider-Man 2 or any Spider-Man game, like the upcoming one for the PS4. It's not a fighting game. It's- it's a Tamagotchi, that's what this is. Except it's your dual raising. And any other thoughts I have? Um, the training requirements for these Digimon are way too extreme. They really are. I mean, you have to die multiple times, you have to upgrade the gym multiple times, um, you have to go out and grind and look for food multiple times. Uh, I don't know. I kind of wish... I had, I don't know, if if I had died twice or once, that would have been fine. But I, I didn't need to die three or four times. I mean, Digimon's, Digimon's rebirth cycles, getting from in-training to rookie to champion to ultimate and mega. Uh, it's like you have to absolutely find loopholes or understand what you're doing in this game to really to really be the best that you can be here. I mean, I, I didn't even expect to get Omega Mon in the fashion that I did, and I did not expect to get Imperial Drum on Fighter Mode. Hell, if I... If this game has a new game plus, or if you can continue the story, which I think... Yeah, you can. You can continue the story from where you left off before the end credits. I believe that my Digimon are going to die, and I will have to start over, which is fine. I mean, I've already beaten the game. The question is, do I want to keep playing, and do I want to keep doing a playthrough of of what's going on post-credits? I'll think about it in a little bit. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll think about it. Let me reiterate. I'll give it some thought.
Evolution. Wake up. It's time. Curious how to use it. Three major telecoms have announced that everything is back to normal. Investigations into the cause continue. This way! Great! You finally made it! We've all been waiting. I missed you, buddy! <laughs> okay, from a decent ending to a Powerful reunion, I guess. I, although they never explain why the main character, the reason behind the main character having two partners, he's just gifted or he has a strange presence. It's like it's never fully addressed. Ah, but whatever. Um. Eh. Look, the digital world is back to the way it should be. Gigimon said it would take a while. But I didn't think it would happen before summer vacation. We pinky swore that we'd meet again. That was so embarrassing. The digital world and the real world. Time doesn't move at the same speed. That's it. I was totally surprised when I returned to the real world. I thought my sisters would be totally worried. But when I got home, it was like nothing had happened. I was so relieved. I couldn't help myself. I just ran up and hugged them tight. There I was, bawling my eyes out while they patted me on the head. That's sweet. You've got great sisters. Right? They are great. I must have raised them right, even before I came here. Yeah, yeah, we can hear more about your sisters later. But before that, we should go say hello to Gigimon. Yeah, we should do that first. I miss Tawamon Sourpuss too. I need to go to Floatia, though. Okay, then. Race you to Gigimon's house. I'll beat you! We should go, too. Oh, he's my new partner. Name's Noir. Or Omega Mon's... <laughs> Once reincarnation finished, I took on Omega Mon Alter B as my partner. After he was reborn as a Digi Egg, I won't waste any more time on explanations. We shouldn't make everyone wait. Let's go to Floatia.